Here is an example of permutations question. We can tell it's a permutations question already from the word arrangements. So they're asking us to find a number of five letter arrangements from the word amplitude with no instructions. Amplitude has nine letters in total, so n will be nine, and our r will be equal to five. Using the permutations formula, we put nine factorial over nine minus five factorial, which is nine factorial over four factorial, giving us one five one two zero. It is the same method as doing 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, where any of these letters can be the letters above from amplitude. This question is now asking us to find a number of five-letter arrangements which start with the letter A and end with the letter E. As there's only one A and one E, there can only be one option for the ends, and we have seven letters remaining, so it would be 1 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 1. Hence, our answer would be 210. So there are 210 ways to make 5-letter arrangements starting with A and ending with E. Here's another example of a permutations question. We can tell it's a permutations question by seeing the word arrangements. It's asking us to the number of ways to arrange 9 different books with no restrictions, so we don't need to care about the 4 math books, 3 physics books, and 2 chemistry books. So that means... Nine books can be here, eight books, seven books, six different books could be here, five books, etc., etc., which means there are nine factorial ways of different possible arrangements if there are no restrictions, which is three, six, two, eight, eight, zero. Now they're asking us to find the number of arrangements with a condition that a chemistry book is at each end of the shelf. So there are still nine books in total that we are arranging. And we have a total of two chemistry books as highlighted by the question before. So either one of those two chemistry books can be here. And as a result of one being there, the other one must be here. And then we can film the remaining books, which is a total of seven books. So it would be seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. So it'd be seven factorial times two, which is equal to one zero zero eight zero. Here's a slightly different question. They're asking for all the math books to be together and all the physics books to be kept together. There are a total of three physics books and four math books, and we are still arranging nine books. So let's quickly draw it out. Um, let's make these the four math books, and these four math books can be arranged in four factorial different ways. And then let's do another one for the physics books, and these, like the math books, can be arranged three factorial ways. And then we have a total of one, two, three, four positions. So our answer would be four factorial times three factorial times four, which gives us three, four, five, six.